what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is Acer studio and as you know we are here in capture one and it's another retouching tutorial it's been a long time with the retouch in photo in capture one and today i just want to post a video of how you can do your retouching little fix or some tips you can actually use in retouching your photo all right so we have a model in our screen right here and you can see that there's the variation in her skin color you can see that her face is actually black and then uh, the part of her hand is actually more brighter and more fairer compared to her face so a quick fix for this one is to select the skin only so i'm going to make a selection of the skin all right so i made a selection of the skin let's go to the color tab and then hit the m key since that layer is selected and the layer is about i'm going to rename it skin selection yeah let's just leave it like that go to the skin tone tab under the color editor select the sample tool and then whichever we want to use do you want to use this color or do you want to use this color of our skin tone i prefer this one so you can see that the skin color range is actually selected go to the u under the uniformity tab increase it all the way up and then come down and then the saturation i'm going to blend it also all the way up i'm going to increase the lightness also to get a uniform lightness yeah i'm going to take it backwards so as to blend all the images together taking it forward makes it you know yellowish all right so now let's increase the saturation of that and you can see the mighty change it has all right i'm going to take it all the way up so we have something uniform and compared to our before and after you can see the changes that is actually you know made okay so one more thing we need to do i'm going to bring back the lightness a little and again bring up this one so as to make the model skin stand out okay so next thing create another empty adjustment layer and this time around i'm going to select the brush magic brush tool and i'm going to select a face so some part of the color will be selected by capture one and let's see the range i'm going to select here also and you can see that it's actually selected some range all right so i'm going to hit m on the keyboard go back to the uniformity tab pick on this tool and I want it to be like this. So I'm gonna increase the range and again, go to the uniformity and take it all the way up this time around. And then come back, make the saturation also the same. I'm gonna go up and then bring up the saturation just like so. And not too much, bring the uniformity backwards so as to get that feel. I'm gonna take it all the way up. And then we can compare to before before and then after so it's all looking like the way the arm is right now all right so let's make a little that's adjustment on the background another empty layer i'm going to name this one skin selection two don't mind my spelling for this one i'm going to name it background enter i'm going to make a selection of the background and Capture one is going to make a selection, a quick selection, and you can see it in M on the keyboard. It's going to show you where it's actually selected. I'm also going to select this part right here, and it will be added to it. Some more of it selection. Select this one. Let's just select that one. You know what to do. Make a selection of where you want, and then I'm going to. let's undo that selection go to exposure tab bring down it's m on the keyboard bring down the saturation bring down the brightness a little bit and then increase the contrast just a bit i'm also going to bring down the highlights of those bring down the white and let's see find a sweet spot for the shadows so that looks okay to me you can actually bring up the blacks or maybe bring it down so let's find a sweet spot for that as well 
all right so that actually is a sweet spot for that you can decrease the exposure one more time but not too much just like that and we can decrease the opacity or oh, let's leave the opacity go to the luma range i want to copy from the darker part so i'm gonna keep this one beside her all the way up so let's see the effect of it so taking it all the way up we make it look like this so i want it present in almost all the places so something like this looks fine to me let's bring it back a little all right so not too much click apply okay now let's make a selection of address another layer add an empty layer selection of address this time around and let's see what capture selects for us make a selection of address and this time i'm going to hit m on the keyboard to show you selected i'm going to select more parts the eraser and erase it from the part I don't want it. I don't want it. You can you know, take your time and then do the same. Alright, so this will be the last step. So I'm just gonna do a rough work and then hit M on the keyboard. Zoom in. Then this time increase the saturation of the dress and you can see how it comes back to life. You can also increase the brightness if you want I'm going to take it down a little and increase the contrast come to the highlight let's zoom out a little bit and increase the highlight decrease the white you can also decrease the blacks also and the shadows in the dress okay you can come to the clarity and increase the structure and not the clarity all right so let's see a quick before and after a quick before and then after quick before and then after one more thing i like doing i like creating a few layer and again i like you know adjusting the highlight taking it up bringing up the white giving it some saturation and that give it a structure and that is all for the retouching and that is one more thing it's a high on this first skin selection we have i can show the mask of that so you can see so we can actually erase it from those places and then we have a white one i'm gonna erase it from my lips something like this and erase it from my eyes and maybe part of my hair also so if you find the video helpful you can kindly please like the video and share your comment let me know what you think concerning the retouching of this image in capture one all right so see you in our next video thank you if don't forget if you are new subscribe to the channel thank you